Hello, hola, hola. Ah. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Nos estamos quejando, teacher. Why? What is the problem? Uh, the platform. One exercise. Um, I know. It's complicated. <laughs> what exercise? We can we can do it right now. We can we can work um, that exercise. Um is um yeah, okay. Digo, ay Dios. ¿Dónde están? Tengo mis anotaciones para que vea. Eh, me he estado acostando a las 2 de la mañana resolviendo eso. Y... Oh my god. <laughs> Is um um in in section five and five um for five four okay five four is a uh, numeral three we be a help at friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you like um your parent like to come? Entonces ahí estoy, que no, no sé, porque estaba probando con are, don't, porque si es we, tendría que ser, eh, dice el be, ¿verdad? Pero después de, tendría que ser el to, don't, o don't, don't have, no sé. Y he estado tratando de poner el, el pasado, el did, el do, el does, o sea, me estoy volviendo loca. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Let me see. 5.4. Sí. Part number three. Yes. Okay. Let's see what is the problem with that. In the number three. If we are having. In the case ah, okay. Have. Yeah, yeah, I lo puse having. Después lo puse con don't, nada, y no, no me salía. O quizás me falta una palabra right. para poder... Ah, claro, es R porque es we. Ajá. O sea, todo le voy buscando una lógica, pero no me daba porque dice que va el be y el have. Entonces tendría que ser eh, we are having done. Mm -hmm. mm -mm, solo are no. having. Are having. Ah, es solo es eso. Solo eso, are having. Ay, me está dando, está volviendo loca. Y el Santi está matado de la risa porque sabe que me está volviendo loca. No, en, en ese caso, como en, en ese ejercicio, es Ajá. presente continuo. Ahí sí. dice que tiene que poner eh, lo que le falta, pero Ajá. el verbo va con el ING. En ese caso, Exacto. es presente continuo, solo pone el verbo con ING y no le agrega no. nada más, hasta ahí se queda. Como en eso, oh, we are no. having, and that's it. Ok, is it only? Da, good. Ahora ya lo va a poder completar y ya no se va a caer hasta las 2 de la mañana. Ok, yes. <risa> ya no, ya es uh, 100%. Good. Yeah. I don't know if you are having another trouble. Congratulations, Leli. <risa> El Santi, trouble, Santi ya, te quiero, ya te quiero ver más noche. Pásame tal. No te ríes, Santi, qué mala onda la Lely. Te expone al público. Yes. ¿sí? <risa> no, hombre. ¿Cómo se exponen? A yes, doctora? very happy. <risa> No, no, hombre, si es que le he pedido por mi, mi he pedido ayuda, ay no, a todos los instructores anteriores que hemos tenido, me. Oh, wow. <laughs> lo logré, no, lo logré. We can have this kind of troubles, but you know that is. Like solo, solo dígame, más o menos cómo va, dígame, dígame y me decía tal cosa. Ah, ya estuvo, pues ya lo hice. <laughs> But now you have the answer, so in that case, we're going to finish. Oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. for today, you know that we have, like, different activities. We are going to complete the vocabulary related to geography. Then we are going to have a practice. We are going to have a conversation. And then we are going to have a game. We are going to have that game. So you need to be very focused. When we end the practice of the conversation, I'm going to tell you um, to go to the website and then we're going to have the live quiz. 
So we are going to end with the vocabulary because we are going to need some words for that vocabulary. And then we are going to have the conversation related to this uh, topic of geography. So again, uh, I'm going to use this document that I was using yesterday because I don't want to take risk right now because I need my connection uh, to be good for today because we are going to have a game. So I'm going to use this document, but if you can see on the Google documents, you have this table there because I added to that document also. So the last word that we were studying yesterday was hail that in Spanish is granizo. So we are going to continue from that word and we're going to have a couple of words. In this case, it's not going to have a lot of words. We are going to have a couple of words related to geography. So we are going to continue from this one and we are going to have another one that is easy for you because it's a common word. And in this case is hurricane. This one is huracán. Huracán, good. <laughs> es que hay un trago que se llama <laughs> hurricane drink. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's delicious. Oh. That's a, a good information. So, it says that this uh, hurricane is a severe tropical cyclone, usually with heavy rains and winds. Then we have the next one and is hydrosphere. <clears throat> hydrosphere. This one is the weighty layer of the Earth's surface. Es la hidrosfera? Exactamente, hidrosfera. Lawyer of the Earth's surface. And in Spanish, hidrosfera. Then we have an iceberg that in this case, we are going to work with the same word in Spanish. It, it is not in Spanish, but we are like very, um, we use this word a lot, it's an iceberg. And we use also when we are speaking in Spanish, we use that, that word in Spanish also. So we are going to have it like iceberg here. And this one is a large frozen mass floating at sea. Then we have a lake, lake. This one is another uh, common word. So in Spanish is? Lago. Good, lago. good, lago. Is a body of water surrounded by land. A body of water. Surrounded by land. It is the contrary of the island because the island is like 
land or a piece of land surrounded by water. And in this case, the lake is a body of water surrounded by land. It is the contrary of the island. Then we have another one that is marsh. Marsh, but not the month, marsh. What could it be, marsh? We can see this kind of, of places, if we can call it a place, on terror movies in which the, the bad guys take the bodies to this place and the bodies disappear on that spaces. It is like humid or humid, but it has dirt and something like that. What it could be marsh? Pantano. Pantano, good. It's un pantano. So this one is a low lying wetland with grassy vegetation. Then we have mist, mist. What is the meaning of mist in Spanish? Mist. Co uh, como niebla o neblina? Good, neblina. That is the answer, neblina. This is near the ground. It is not like on the, the air. In this case, it's near the ground. Then we have a monsoon or monsoon. A monsoon is almost the same in Spanish. So we just change some words, monsoon. This one in Spanish is called monzón, monzón, like this, monzón. And this one is a seasonal wine in Southern Asia. Es como un viento que viene con la temporada, pero que se da más que todo en Asia. We are almost done, don't worry. We are almost done with the vocabulary. We just have a, a couple of words more and we are going to end with this part. Then we have mountain, mountain. Then in Spanish, this one is? Montaña. Good, montaña. And it is a land mass that projects well about its surroundings. So in that case, it's big. A land mass that projects well its surroundings. Then 
Then we have a north. What is north? Norte. Good, norte. And this is the direction corresponding to the Northward Cardinal Compass Point. Then we have ocean, ocean. That is? Oceano. Good, Oceano. We have here that the ocean is a large body of water that is part of the hydrosphere. Oh, large body of water. Then we have the ref. Ref. That in Spanish, a ref is. This one is underwater, and we can find a lot of fishes, uh, colorful fish, and... Arrecife. Good. Arrecife. El arrecife de coral. So this one is... A Los cóbanos. Mm -hmm. A ridge of rock or coral near the water's surface. So we are going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words more, seven words more. And we are going to end with this vocabulary. Just seven words. River, river. Rio. Rio, good. Rio, a large natural stream of water. Stream of water. Then we have a sinkhole. 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 This one says a depression in the ground formed by underground erosion. Es una depresión en el suelo creado por una erosión que se hace por dentro de la tierra. What is the name of this one? What do you think? This one in Spanish means sumidero. Sumidero. Okay. Then we have a smog. This one is like, now it's very common to hear that word because we um, use a lot this word these days. So what is a smog? What do you think is smog? No, it is contamination. It is related to contamination. El smog 
lo podemos utilizar smog cuando hablamos en español o podemos decir niebla tóxica. It is related oh. to that uh, topic. And this is air pollution by a mixture of smoke and fog. Es una, es una combinación. So that's why it's called like smog eh, o niebla tóxica. Air pollution by a mixture of smoke and fog. Niebla tóxica. Then we have the tsunami. That this one again is the same. Just in Spanish we say tsunami, but they say tsunami. It's kind of different, but it is the, the same written system, tsunami. And this one is a cataclysm from a destructive sea wave. A cataclysm resulting from a destructive sea wave. Now we have just three more. We have Bali. Bali, I'm going to write the three in the same spot. Bali volcano, volcano, and the last one is the waterfall. Waterfall. Yes. This Bali is Valle. Good. The next the one. Volcano, volcano. Mm -hmm. And the uh, waterfall. Is a catarata? Yes, is a catarata or a cascada. Good. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, they are the three last words that we have for this uh, vocabulary. And the Bali is a long depression in the surface of the land. Is a long depression. Long depression in the surface of the land. Then the volcano is a rupture in the crust of a planetary mass object. Of a Planetary my subject. And the last one, and that is the waterfall. Give me here a moment. And this one is a river or other body of waters a step fall over a rocky ledge into a plunge pool be low is a river is a river or other body of water into a plunge pool below. So that's the vocabulary that we have for this topic. So this is the end of the vocabulary we have 
a lot of words. And we have atmosphere, that is the atmosphere. We have aurora, that is aurora. Then we have basin, that is cuenca. Bay, bahia. Biosphere or biosphere. Capital or capital. Cavern or caverna. Cliff, acantilado. Coast, que es la costa. Continent, el continente. Cosmography, cosmografía. Country, país. Dale, valle o cañada. Delta, que es el delta. El desert, que es el desierto. Dew, el rocío. Dune, la duna. Hill, loma o colina. Island, que es la isla. Golf, el golfo. Hail, granizo. Hurricane, que es el huracán. Hydrosphere, que es la hidrosfera. Iceberg, the same iceberg. Then we have lake, que es el lago. Marsh, pantano. Mist, neblina. Monsoon, que es el monzón. Mountain, que es la montaña. North, que es el norte. Ocean, océano. Then we have ref, el arrecife. River, río. Sinkhole, el sumidero. Smog, es la neblina tóxica. Tsunami, the same tsunami. Valley, valle, volcano. Volcán, and waterfall, que es la cascada. So we have that uh, vocabulary there. And also you have like the definition of those words. In that case, you are not going to know what is the meaning in English and in Spanish, but you are going to have like the definition of each word. So now uh, we are going to have a conversation. We are going to listen to the conversation that we have on the platform in which two people are talking about something related to the geography, and then we are going to practice that conversation. And at the end, we are going to have the live quiz. So we are going to go to the, um, the platform and we are going to listen to the conversation. But I need to, uh, you give me a couple of minutes because I'm going to stop the, uh, sharing the, the screen, I'm going to go to the platform because I know that in this case, I need to do it in the moment. And then I'm going to put the conversation. So give me a moment, please. going to um, learn a vocabulary related to geography. In this case, we are going to enter another topic that we are going to develop today, uh, I mean, tomorrow, that are the comparison with adjectives. So in that case, we are going to have like, one part is a vocabulary related to geography, and the other one is related to the adjectives, because we are going to talk about the comparative of adjectives in which we are going to use it in the topic that we are going to develop tomorrow. So here we are going to have like some clues of that topic and we are going to listen to the conversation twice. We are going to listen the first time and then we are going to listen again 
Then we are going to see the elements of the conversation and then we are going to practice that conversation in groups. So I'm going to share the screen and we are going to listen the conversation. Okay, wait, something happened and I don't know what is happening with the video, but it is not working well. So I'm going to church again and I will try to put the video. So let me see. Hi guys, in the conversation. Now it is working well. I don't know why, but let's see. we're about to listen to, the speakers use comparative adjectives. Do you remember how to compare? Stay around for the explanation. It is important to practice and understand the conversation. Listen and practice. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know. Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Canada is large. Which country is this? Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know. Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm. I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest, La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay, I know that the conversation uh, doesn't have like a good image, but I have the same image and I am going to put into the document because we are going to read there the conversation and you are going to see the phrases well because I fixed that color on the document. So I'm going to put into the document and we are going to see in the, the screen. So give me a second. I'm going to have the image there. So here we are. Next one. Teacher, excuse me. Who is translation the crowded? Crowded. El más poblado. Podemos decirlo así. El que está más lleno. Es que la, la traducción en el diccionario es atestado. Uh -huh. Y supongo que atestado es mucha población. Exactamente. Es algo okay. que está muy lleno. Ok. Uh -huh. So, we have here the conversation. And in this case, the image is, is better the color. So, I mean, no, this is not the one. I mean, this is the another one that we have for the other conversation. And I was like what we are talking about dinner in this case wow i have a lot of images so in that case it is weird okay this one is so this is the one 
the conversation is called which is larger that larger is one of the clues that we are going to use for the topic of the adjectives because in that case we are talking about um, comparison larger is a form that we are going to use to make comparison between things but the thing is that we're going to read the conversation and we have a Mike and Wendy and they are talking about a quiz están hablando como de un examen corto de geografía and Mike says here is a geography quiz in the paper in this case he is reading in the newspaper so she I mean he find that information on the newspaper here is a geography quiz in the paper oh I love geography ask me the questions sure first question which country is larger China or Canada in esa pregunta sure first question which country is larger cuál es el país más grande o más largo larger is making a comparison between China and Canada so in that case we know through that question that we are going to use that kind of adjectives um, to make comparison between two things but also we are going to talk about the superlative but in that case it's just going to be like a review of the topic of the adjectives and comparison and superlative adjective then we have i know canada is larger than china larger than that is another construction of the adjective that we are going to use for the topic tomorrow then okay next what's the longest what's the longest river in the americas um i think it's the mississippi here is a hard one which country is more crowded again more is another word or another structure that we are going to use for the comparative form of the adjectives. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure, I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? This one is superlative, the highest. La Paz, Quito or Bogota? Oh, that's easy, Bogota is the highest. So in that case, in this conversation, we have words related to geography, but also we have information related to the comparative form of the adjectives, because in this case, we are making a comparison. Estamos haciendo comparaciones y también estamos hablando de las formas superlativas de los adjetivos. If you can take a screenshot or something like that, you can do it right now because we are going to have like, a, a small groups in which we are going to practice this conversation. So you need to take the screenshot right now and then we are going to make the practice. So now we are going to take this out. I'm going to stop sharing the screen and I'm going to divide the groups. And we are going to have like a couple of minutes to practice the conversation. And then we are going to come back to the main session and we are going to have the game. Así que vamos a hacer la práctica. Después vamos a volver y vamos a tener nuestro pequeño juego de el vocabulario. So I'm going to make the breakout rooms right now and you can access to that group. In that case, I'm going to have four small groups. and they are open right now. Laura and Abigail, you need to access to the group. 
to make or to do the practice with your parents. So you need to access to the group right now, please. Compartí pantalla para que aparezca. Tiene ahí la captura para que la compartas. La ven. Se ve poco. Se ve borrosa. Quisiera acercarla un poquito, la imagen. Ahí ya se ve. Ahí sí ya se ve. Sí, ya se ve. Ok. Ok. No, no, no se partimos. Ok, mi team es que... Voy a ponerme los lentes porque no veis. Sí, que mi captura salió algo, algo oscurita, pero se mira. Se mira, teacher. Sí, se ve. Ok. Ya, ya no son adornos los lentes, ya necesitamos ya... Okay. Vamos a ver, dijo acá. Here, here's, here is, here is uh, geography, it's in the paper. ¿Cómo vamos a, a ver? Bueno, repartimos, este, si quieres inicio yo y después inicia vos y después los otros dos compañeros inician y se reparten ellos dos. Okay. Okay. Inicio con Mike. Mike Bird. A geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love, I love therapy. Ask me the question. Sure, this question, which country is larger, China or Canada? I know Canada is larger than China. Okay. China, <laughs> okay. China or China? No, China, eh, verdad, teacher? China. All right. Okay. All right. Next. What's the longer, the longest river in the America, in the American? Mm, I think it's the Mississippi. And a hard one. No podemos, no podemos compartir la imagen de la conversación. Ya la compartí en el, en el WhatsApp. Ahí está. Vale. Gracias. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Ah, vaya, ok. Ok. Eh, ok. Vaya, puedo vale. ser... ¿Mike o Wendy? Wendy, okay. puedo ser okay. Wendy. I am Mike. Okay. Here's, here's a geography, geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love, I love. Geography. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Ge geography. 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 Okay. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the question. Sure, fair question. Which country is large? China or Canada? I know Canada is larger than China. China. Okay, next. What's the longest river of in the Americas? Um I think in the Mississippi. Here is her one. Which country is more crowded? Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South America, American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay. Uh, Fatima. Si quieres tú ser Mike y Morena Wendy. Eh, no, sería, no, 
Morena Ma Mike y Fátima y yo, Wendy. Y yo, Wendy. Ajá. Okay. Okay. Here's geographic quiz in the paper. Oh, I love ge geography. Ask me the question. Sure. First question. Which country is larger? China or Canada? Or Canada? I know. I know. Canada is larger than uh, China. Okay, next. What the longest river in the America? Um, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's her home. Which country is more crowded? Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more cold. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that is easy. Bogota is the highest. Very good, very good. I'm going to go to the other uh, rooms and then we are going to come back to the uh, main session. So give me one, uh, one or two minutes. So don't worry. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're okay. welcome. Thank you. Thanks to you. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South America capital city in the highest, La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. China or Canada? I know Canada is larger, larger than China. Okay, next. What the longest river in the Americas? Mm, I think it's the Mississippi. Where's a hard one? Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South America capital city in the biggest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Hola, teacher. Pregunta, ¿fui solo yo que me fui del aire o todos se fueron? Ahorita todos. Ah, no, hace rato que se, se quedó como congelada la pantalla. No sé si fue, fui solo yo o... No, a mí me pasó lo mismo. Oh, I was like listening to the other uh, classmates to practice the conversation and they were like... Okay, I don't know what is happening. Fue antes que nos mandara así al grupito. Oh, I think it's like maybe uh, another kind of problem because I don't, I didn't have that problem with the connection today. Okay. So I'm uh, looking for the uh, the quiz because I'm going to share with you the quiz that we are going to uh, play today. 
And I'm going to send you the link in which we are going to access in this case. So let me, yes, I have it here. So you need to enter a website that is called Quizzes. It is called Quizzes, but let me show you first this one. This one and this one. And we're going to continue with this. So here. But I don't want the sound. Okay. In WhatsApp, teacher. Let me let me show you first. But I don't want to share the sound because it's too uh, loud. This one is the uh, screen that you are going to see. Well, in this case, it's not the, the screen that you are going to see. It, this one is the game. So in this case, you are going to see this word quizzes. Quizzes. But I will start quizzes on the website. So I, I can let me see if I can share with you the link of quizzes in which you are going to access. But in this case, I don't know if I can just send. Yes, I think I can. So let me send you this link in which you are going to access but i know that uh, it's going to ask you the the code so i'm going to share again the screen and you are going to copy the the code that is in there so let me send you the link of the game and remember you are going to have 20 seconds to answer the words so here you are let me see let me see Yes, in that case, you are just going to access the code. Solo van a meter el código que ya les voy a poner en la pantalla de nuevo. Porque nos vamos a ver mientras juguemos, o sea, your icon. That is the code, 545835. And you need to put that code to enter the game. So we are going to do that. I'm going to do this one. I know that someone is in because, yes, I have two people here. And they are entering more. Thank you. Seven people, good. You are appearing there. Good. Nine, 10, 11, good. And uh, the, the funny thing of this game is it itself uh, put you a funny name. So in that case, it is not your proper name. In this case, it's a, a funny nickname. So we have 12. We are going to wait a little bit for the others, because we have a couple of minutes. We have here right now 13. Mm, good. We are complete, I, I think. And we are going to start. Are you ready for the game? I, I think yes. Okay, 20 seconds to answer the word that appears in the screen in Spanish. You need to write it in English. I have two options for you. One with capital letter and what without capital letter. Pueden escribir con letra mayúscula o minúscula. No hay ningún problema. Le puse las dos opciones. So we are going to start right now.
In two minutes is going to end the game. You have just two more minutes to complete the quiz. One minute more. Second. <laughs> I have a winner, I think. I have some flowers sharp, but we are going to see who is the winner and who is in the second place and the third place because I think they are completed all the uh, words. So I'm going to end the game right now. So let me see. Yes, we are going to end. So let's see. We have Sunflower Sharp. Who is Sunflower Sharp? ¿Quién era el Sunflower Sharp? El número uno. It's me, teacher. Brigitte. Oh, wow. Very good, Brigitte. Very, very good job. You win. Who is the second one? I am. Me, teacher. Ah. Me, teacher. Ah. No. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Eso fue bastante reñido. Sí. El desert me, me traicionó porque le puse doble S. Ah. Oh, in that case, we can see that we have like, we know what is the word, but in some cases we have something like this. So it was a really interesting game, I hope. And thank you for your participations. And we are going to see each other tomorrow because it's time to end the session. Today, the session end with something funny. So we are going to see each other tomorrow and have a really good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Good night. Good night, teacher.